Right, good day and welcome to our video. For today, we're looking at the spelling and grammar um, check inside of Microsoft Word. So um, here, I've just got a document with some text. And you can see at this point, there is nothing underlined, nothing that's highlighted as in, um, you know, it's uh, spelled incorrectly or there's any grammar problems, nothing like that. It's practically perfect. Okay, so if we do want to check our spelling and grammar, you've maybe typed out a document, you've done all that, we click on the review tab and there's our spelling and grammar check. So if we click on that, we know our text is perfect, we know our paragraph is perfect, mundo. So no problems, the check is complete. Now it'll tell you the check is complete once it's done everything it's need, it needs to, if there's any problems. Now let's go and create some problems. So let's delete something there, let's go there, let's delete that, um, let's mess that up, that up, uh, and this one. Okay, now what we'll see is there are two types of problems here. We'll see those that are underlined in blue and those that are underlined in red. So let's see what it does. When we go to our review tab and spelling and grammar, ah, it Deals with seems to deal with the blue first. So the blue indicates that it's a grammar problem. That's the problem. It's coming up as first. Um, we can ignore the problem. Okay, <laughs> like many things in life, we simply just ignore it. <laughs> but it doesn't go away. So we need to deal with it. Um, and they give us an option. I say, well, look, it could possibly be first. And if we want to change that, we click on change, and there you'll see it's dealt with it. Okay, right. Now we go on. The next one they come up with is of or off <laughs> instead of other, right? Um, we're going to resume here. So they give us a, diff a number of options. It could be oath, could be other, you know, anything like that. If we are happy with this word, um, we can even click add to add it to our dictionary. We can ignore all the problems um, or just this one, or we can just go and change it. So we know it's going to be other. We click on other and we say change. Now, if you click on change all, it's going to correct everything according to what it thinks it is um, in that entire paragraph. Here again, I'm just going to click on that. Pieces, armor, that's fine. Uh, do you want to check the rest of the document? Yes, let's check everything. We can click on there and say change. Again, a grammar issue. Okay, we're going to change that. And we're going to change that. Now, watch what happens. This is the last error in this paragraph, in fact, for this document. So when I now click Change, look what it does. The navigation panel on the right-hand side disappears, closes, and Microsoft Word says, well, the spelling and grammar check is complete. You click OK, and now you know it is back to being its perfect self. And that's how we use and utilize the spelling and grammar check in Microsoft Word.